Hello, Dad. Carl said you wanted to talk with me. What's it about? Ah, that's right. Take a seat. Just sit down on that hay bill. I thought I'd talk with you here at the barn. We've had some really good times here over the years. <laughs> sure have. I spent more time here than in the house, I reckon. Listen, son. I'm dying. Oh, jeez, Dad. What is it? It's old age, son. <laughs> well, everybody gets old, Dad. Yeah, I've never seen anyone who survived it yet. You, you're not old, Dad. Yes, I am, son. And it could be any day. You just never know. When I die, son, your, your mother is going to be still alive, probably. Then she's going to be as happy as hell. And she's going to get the whole land and the whole farm. And the little birdies told me that when she goes, she's going to give it to her firstborn. The first child she had before I met her. And as you know, son, I never knew about that for 20 years. Yeah, Dad. That was bad. She lied to you. They always lie, son. That's how they survive. You know that place we call Tall Pines? Which has that beautiful river flowing through it. <laughs> sure do, Dad. You caught a lot of good fish there. Well, I bought a hundred acres of that land. And I've done it in a such a way it's not included in the will. Well, I'm giving it to you today. There's that old shack on it. You could do it up or knock it down and build a new one. Nobody can touch it, son, not even your mother. It's yours. Golly, Dad. I don't know what to say. As you know, this land here has been in my family for two generations. My dad worked the farm and he worked really hard. And I worked alongside him until he passed. All that hard work so the land can go to somebody else. Who hasn't worked a goddamn day on the land. To me, Dad, this land is always yours. When I die soon, it'll be gone. There is one stipulation of the land that I'm bequeathing to you and giving you today. You want me to make it into a farm, Dad? No. Whatever you do with the land is up to you. You can't move a femon in and live with her on that land. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I, I don't get it. Let's say you meet somebody and you move her in. You can be living with her there for a long time. You don't even have to get married. If something happens and you split up or something, she gets some of it, probably all of it. And once again, our family has lost the land. Don't you see some what I'm trying to do? I'm not a mean old bastard. Well, I am too, but... Femons have been stealing land and houses from men for thousands of years. And the men are the ones that toiled and broke their backs to be able to get these places. And Femons come along and basically steal them. I want this piece of land to stay in our family. So, son, the land is yours. You can sign it right here today. But you have to agree to that one stipulation. Don't worry, Dad. I have no problem with it. Look what happened to Crazy Poe's land. Married for 35 years, and he just drops down dead. It wasn't long before his wife moved another guy in. Younger man. Hell, he's even driving Poe's tractor. And his truck. And the way Poe's wife's dressing, she looks like she's pretending to be 20 years old. That's because she's a hussy, son. Maybe that'll happen to your mother, too. It's in all of them, just waiting to be woken up. Well, she won't take your tractor or truck, Dad. I'll put it on the land, tall pines, and protect it with my life, if I have to. <laughs> You're a good boy, son. You always have been. You can be sure, Dad. The land you give me today will stay in our family, even when I die, too. Uh, and how are you going to manage that, son? When you die, at the moment, you don't have any heirs. Hmm. That's a good point there, Dad. Never thought of that. <laughs> You've always had your mother's brains. Sign here, son. And good luck. You know, Dad, if you ever leave me, I have no idea what I do. You'll carry on, son. That's what we all have to do.
That's the bark of a real man.